The stones stand silent. Sentinels of a forgotten time, a circle of power etched against the vast canvas of Salisbury Plain. For centuries, Stonehenge has captivated our creative power, a monument to ingenuity and mystery. Who were the architects of this ancient wonder? What secrets do these weathered stones hold? The very air here hums with unseen energy, whispers of rituals performed beneath a sky ablaze with stars, echoes of a civilization that understood the rhythm of the cosmos. Join us as we journey back in time. We'll delve into the heart of Stonehenge, seeking answers that have eluded mankind for generations. Stonehenge, a name synonymous with wonder. It is one of the most famous prehistoric monuments on Earth. The Stonehenge is a grouping of large ringing rocks. It was a 1500 year long construction project. Stones from near and far made the journey to complete the monument. New archaeological discoveries are being made all the time. The most recent scientific interpretation of Stonehenge shows it as a prehistoric temple that aligned with the movements of the sun. Archaeologists are peeling back the layers of time, revealing a story more complex and fascinating than we ever imagined. Our journey will take us from the depths of prehistory to the modern era. We will explore the construction of this megalithic marvel, marvelling at what it took to move and erect these massive stones. We'll delve into the lives of the people who built Stonehenge. What was their world like? What beliefs shaped their lives? And what drove them to create this ancient magnificent monument? Stonehenge wasn't built in a day. It evolved over centuries, a testament to dedication and skill. The earliest structure, around 3000 BC, was a simple earthwork enclosure. Massive sarsen stones, some weighing up to 50 tons, were placed next. These were arranged in a circle with a horseshoe of trilithons at its heart. The precision of these stones is astonishing. Who were these ancient architects? They were Neolithic farmers, living in a world without metal or the written word. But they were also skilled astronomers, engineers and builders. They were a people deeply connected to the cycles of nature, their lives governed by the seasons and the movement of the heavens. We know from archaeological evidence that the builders of Stonehenge were part of a wider culture that spanned Britain and beyond. They were traders, exchanging ideas and goods over vast distances. Their society was structured and hierarchical, capable of organising large-scale projects like Stonehenge. They were not primitive savages, but sophisticated people who left an incredible mark on the landscape and our collective memory. The transportation of the Sarsen stones from the Marlborough Downs, some 20 miles away, is a feat of engineering that still boggles the mind. Theories abound as to how they achieved this. Some believe they used rollers and levers, hauling the stones across the landscape with brute force. Others suggest they used rafts and waterways, taking advantage of the River Avon, to transport the stones closer to the site. Whatever the method, the logistics were daunting. It would have required the coordinated effort of hundreds, if not thousands, of people. They would have needed to clear paths, build ramps and navigate obstacles. It was a monumental undertaking driven by a shared purpose and belief in the significance of their endeavour. Once at the site, the stones were carefully shaped and erected. They used hammer stones of various sizes to chip away at the sarsen, creating the desired forms. The precision of their work is evident in the interlocking joints and the smooth surfaces of the stones. Some stones bear carvings, simple shapes and patterns that may have held ritual significance. These were not just stones, they were sacred objects imbued with meaning and power. Their arrangement, their alignment with the solstices and equinoxes all point to a deep understanding of astronomy and the cycles of nature. Stonehenge was more than just a monument, it was a temple, an observatory, a place of pilgrimage and a symbol of unity for the people who built it.
What was Stonehenge for? This question has echoed through the ages, fueling endless speculation and debate. Was it a temple to the sun, a celestial observatory, a place of healing, or perhaps all of these things and more? The stones themselves remain tight-lipped, their secrets locked away in the mists of time. There is no single definitive answer. What we do know is that Stonehenge was a place of immense significance to the people who built it. Its very existence, the sheer scale of its construction, speaks to a profound belief system, a worldview in which the heavens and the earth were inextricably linked. Celestial Dance one of the most intriguing aspects of Stonehenge is its astronomical alignment. The stones are positioned with remarkable precision to mark the solstices and equinoxes, the key points in the annual cycle of the sun. At dawn on the summer solstice, the longest day of the year, the sun rises directly over the heel stone, casting its first rays onto the heart of the monument. This alignment suggests that the builders of Stonehenge possessed a sophisticated understanding of astronomy. They were keen observers of the heavens, their lives governed by the cycles of the sun, moon and stars. Stonehenge may have served as a giant calendar, a place to track the seasons and predict eclipses. Ancient rites. It's hard to imagine that a place as awe-inspiring as Stonehenge wasn't used for ritual purposes. While the exact nature of these rituals remains mysterious, archaeological evidence hints at ceremonies and gatherings of great importance. Excavations have uncovered the remains of feasts, offerings of food and animals, and even human burials within and around the monument. These findings suggest that Stonehenge was not just a place of astronomical observation, but also a sacred site, a place to connect with the divine, to honor the dead, and to celebrate the cycles of life and death. It may have been a pilgrimage destination, drawing people from far and wide to participate in ceremonies that have been lost to time. Echoes in the Stones. Stonehenge stands today as evidence to the power of human belief. Archaeologists uncovered 10 complete burials and three cremation sites. They also found clues indicating that the area was home to various groups over different periods throughout the years. Though the stones themselves remained silent, people were buried at Stonehenge between about 3000 and 2800 BC. Studies of their bones showed that not all had been living within the local area during the last 10 years of their lives, suggesting that people may have brought their cremated dead to Stonehenge from some distance away. Stonehenge stands out among Bronze Age megalithic sites because of its uniqueness. While there are many places with standing stone rows and stone circles, Stonehenge is the only one that still has the trilithon structures. Additionally, it features stones that seem to have been transported from over a hundred miles away. Stonehenge is more than just a collection of stones. It's a carefully calibrated instrument. It's very structure designed to track the movements of the heavens. The placement of the stones, their alignment with the solstices and equinoxes, suggests a deep understanding of astronomy, a knowledge far beyond what we once attributed to our Neolithic ancestors. Imagine standing within the circle as the sun rises on the summer solstice. The first rays of dawn pierce the horizon, aligning perfectly with the heel stone, a single standing stone that marks the northeast entrance to the monument. It's a spectacle that would have taken your breath away, a moment when the heavens and the earth seemed to converge. The solstice alignment is just one of Stonehenge's astronomical secrets. The entire monument is designed to track the sun's journey throughout the year, marking key points in the agricultural cycle. The placement of the stones creates a series of sight lines, allowing the builders to predict the changing seasons with remarkable accuracy. This knowledge was essential for a society that depended on the land for survival. 
Knowing when to plant and harvest crops was crucial, and Stonehenge provided a way to keep track of time, ensuring the community's continued prosperity. It was a calendar and a clock, all rolled into one. While the sun takes centre stage at Stonehenge, the moon also plays a significant role. The monument's alignment with the lunar cycle is more subtle but no less profound. Certain stones seem to mark the points where the moon rises and sets at its most extreme points on the horizon, a phenomenon known as lunar standstills. These lunar alignments are more complex than their solar counterparts, requiring careful observation over many years to decipher. Their presence at Stonehenge hints at a level of astronomical knowledge that continues to challenge our understanding of prehistoric societies. Pyramids and megaliths. Stonehenge's age, estimated to be around 5,000 years old, places it among the oldest monumental structures on Earth. Its construction predates the Egyptian pyramids by several centuries, making it a contemporary of other great megalithic sites like Newgrange in Ireland and the Karnak Stones in France. These monuments, scattered across the globe, speak to a shared human impulse to build, to create lasting structures that connect us to something greater than ourselves. Researchers suggest that the central altar stone travelled to England from Scotland, which is hundreds of miles farther than previously believed. This extraordinary mystery was revealed after conducting mineralogical tests on the massive six-ton stone. Uniqueness of Stonehenge What makes Stonehenge truly stand out from other ancient megalithic structures? While many share similarities in their massive scale and use of large stones, Stonehenge possesses a unique architectural feature, the lintel stones. These horizontal stones, placed atop the towering vertical ones, create the iconic ring structure not found elsewhere. This lintel and post construction, a testament to the engineering prowess of its builders, required precise shaping and balancing of the massive stones. The fact that these structures have stood for millennia, weathering storms and the test of time, demonstrates the skill and knowledge passed down through generations. Whispers from the past. Our understanding of Stonehenge didn't simply appear overnight. It's been a gradual unveiling, a piecing together of fragments of the past. John Aubrey, a 17th century antiquarian, was among the first to study the monument systematically, noting its alignments and sparking curiosity in its purpose. William Stukeley in the 18th century furthered these studies. He surveyed the site while making detailed drawings. His work laid the foundation for modern archaeological investigations, which continue to unearth new clues about Stonehenge's creators and its significance. Today, Stonehenge stands as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, protected and managed for future generations. The responsibility of safeguarding this ancient wonder falls upon English heritage, who strive to balance public access with preservation efforts, ensuring the stones remain for generations to come. Ongoing research and conservation projects utilise cutting-edge technology to further unravel Stonehenge's mysteries. From three-dimensional laser scanning to analyse the stone's surfaces to ground-penetrating radar revealing hidden structures beneath the earth, each discovery adds a new layer to our understanding of this enchanting monument. Stonehenge isn't just an archaeological site, it's a cultural touchstone, a symbol that transcends time and geography. Its image is instantly recognisable, conjuring up a sense of mystery, power and the presence of the past. From ancient myths and legends to modern art and literature, Stonehenge has woven itself into the fabric of human lives. The stones have borne silent witness to the rise and fall of empires, the changing tides of history, and yet they remain something ancient within the human spirit. Their very presence challenges us to confront the mysteries of our past, to question what we think we know 
and to marvel at the resilience of those who came before us. What is it about Stonehenge that continues to fascinate us? Perhaps it's the sheer scale of the monument, the massive stones standing as silent sentinels against the vast expanse of Salisbury Plain. Or maybe it's the mystery that surrounds it, the unanswered questions about its purpose, its builders, and the rituals that may have taken place within its sacred circle. Whatever the reason, Stonehenge has an undeniable power to ignite the imagination. It invites us to speculate, to tell stories, to weave our own narratives around its ancient stones. It's a blank canvas onto which each generation projects its own hopes, fears with the past. Stonehenge's influence extends far beyond the realm of archaeology and history. It has become a cultural icon, appearing in countless works of art, literature, music and film. From the classic novel Tess of the D'Urbervilles to the cult film This is Spinal Tap, Stonehenge has served as a backdrop, a symbol and sometimes even a character in its own right. Its image adorns everything from postcards to tattoos, an indication to its appeal. It has become a symbol of England, of ancient wisdom, and of the enduring mystery of the past. Whether romanticized, mythologized, or simply admired for its sheer physical presence, Stonehenge continues to exert a powerful hold on humanity. Stonehenge stands today as it has for thousands of years. Its legacy is rooted in its significance as one of the most well-preserved and iconic prehistoric monuments in the world. It demonstrates the advanced engineering and astronomical knowledge of the people who built it over 4,000 years ago. Stonehenge has influenced archaeological research and sparked countless studies on prehistoric cultures. Cultures where we can connect with the ancients, marvel at their achievements, and contemplate the mysteries that still surround us. As we continue to learn more about these megalithic stones, one thing remains certain. Stonehenge will continue to inspire, intrigue and challenge us for generations to come. It is a legacy in stone, a gift from the past that reminds us of the power of curiosity, the importance of preserving our shared heritage and the infinite mysteries that still lie waiting to be uncovered. Stonehenge, the very name evokes a sense of awe, of mystery, of a connection to something far greater than ourselves. From the Neolithic farmers who first raised these stones to the archeologists who study them today, Stonehenge has captivated us for millennia. The stones stand as silent witnesses to the passage of time, a testament to human ingenuity and our place in the cosmos. The quest to understand Stonehenge is far from over. New discoveries are being made all the time, thanks to the tireless efforts of archaeologists, historians and scientists who continue to study this enigmatic monument. Through their work, we are gaining a deeper understanding of the people who built Stonehenge, their beliefs and their deep connection to the natural world. What are your thoughts on Stonehenge? Share your theories, your questions and your sense of wonder in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more explorations of ancient mysteries and historical wonders. Together, let us continue to unravel the secrets of Stonehenge and celebrate the enduring legacy of the past.